Welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. Through this video, we bring to you another set of questions to practice for your exit exam in Advanced Firefighting Refresher course. Carbon dioxide as a firefighting agent has which advantage over other agents? Density 1.5 times higher than air, so it displaces air can be easily liquefied, it's non-corrosive, non-conductor of electricity, no deterioration with age, all of the above. Now from A to E, all are the advantages associated with carbon dioxide as a firefighting agent. So answer is F, all of the above. There are two disadvantages of CO2 as firefighting agent. One of these, these is the limited quantity in which it is available on board and the other is it has no effect on class A fire even in enclosed spaces. It lacks the cooling effect. It breaks up under extreme temperature. It is useless if there is no electric supply. The answer is B it lacks cooling effect. While you are working in a space, the fixed carbon dioxide is accidentally released. You should shut down the CO2 outlet in the area, continue with your work till it finishes off, retreat to fresh air and ventilate the compartment prior re-entry, shut all doors and windows. The answer obviously is retreat to fresh air ventilate the compartment prior re-entry. Life-saving regulations require that a drill, fire drill should include starting of fire pumps, checking arrangements for abandoned ship if required, checking operation of watertight doors, all of the above. The fire drill must include all above, so answer is D. Firefighting foam is effective only when foam penetrates to the bottom of fire, when it is saturated with low expansion foam, when it completely covers the top of the burning liquid, or when it mixes with the burning liquid. The answer is C, when it completely covers the top of the burning liquid. Which extinguishing agent will cool down a heated bulkhead in the least amount of time? Water fog with spray, carbon dioxide, water steam, and dry, or dry chemical. Obviously, the answer is water fog with spray will cool the bulkhead in the shortest time. Fire in the engine room is best extingu extinguished with CO2 and by closing the compartment except for vents, completely shutting of the compartment, reducing the airflow, taking no action. The answer is completely shutting of the compartment, obviously. Spontaneous combustion is most likely to occur in dirty swabs and cleaning gear, partially loaded fuel tanks, overloaded electrical circuits, oily rags stored. The risk of spontaneous combustion is the most in stored oily rags. Spontaneous combustion is caused by an outside heat source heating a substance until it ignites, conduction of heat through a wall to the material, chemical reaction within the material, all the above. The answer is C chemical reaction within the material is the cause of spontaneous combustion. What is the primary hazard other than the fire damage associated with a class C fire? Electrocution or shock, explosion, possibility of reflash, flashover. As class C fires are electrical fires, the primary hazard is electrocution or the shock. For fire investigation, the points to be considered are how the fire was discovered, 
the position and nature of fire, time at which the fire alarm was sounded, all of the above. The answer is the investigation shall, in, shall include all above. So it's D. The ship is divided into many main vertical and horizontal zones by thermal and structural boundary. And this is done to improve stability, to improve and contain fire safety, to reduce cost of construction, none of the above. The division into thermal zones is obviously to improve and contain the fire safety. When an oil fire has been extinguished, the surface of the oil should be kept covered with foam to prevent air from contacting the oil vapor permitting reignition, boiling of the heated oil, spontaneous combustion below the surface, toxic fumes from escaping to the surface. The answer obviously is A, air from contacting the oil vapors permitting reignition and to prevent that the surface must be kept covered with foam. In the given list below, which gas has the widest flammable range? Ethylene, propane, butane, methane. Of these, ethylene has the widest flammable range. So answer is ethylene. Non-combustible material is material which neither burns nor gives off flammable vapor in sufficient quantity for self-ignition when heated to approximately 700 degrees Celsius. Is it a true statement or false? It's a false statement. In the event of a fire, the doors of a stair tower must be closed to prevent the spread of fire by radiation, conduction, convection, or ventilation. The answer is convection because the hot air convection currents could aid spread of fire. A serious fire has been isolated in the engine room. You would wait for it to burn out, open the vents so the smoke can go out, spray cooling water on bulkheads of adjacent compartment, enter engine room with fire extinguisher. The answer is boundary cooling, spray cooling water on the bulkheads of the adjacent compartment. So boundary cooling would be the answer for the action in this particular case. What do we call the temperature at which a material produces enough flammable vapor for it to flash if exposed to an ignition source? Is it melting point? Ignition temperature, auto ignition temperature, or the flash point? The answer is D, the flash point. Principle of firefighting on board is starving of fire, cooling, smothering of fire, all of the above. The answer is all of the above because we use the principle of starvation, cooling, as well as smothering. Uptake fire occurs in waste heat boiler, economizer, main engine turbocharger, all of the above. The uptake fire occurs in economizers. Which firefighting equipment is most efficient and with least side effects in case of large fire in the engine room? Central foam extinguishing system powder extinguishing system, central gas extinguishing system, or the water hyper mist system. Now the most efficient with least side effect shall be the water hyper mist system because of its cooling effect and it converts into vapors. The hyper mist system is the most efficient for the engine rooms. Flammable materials kept in a store that can cause fire are paints and varnishes, cleaning oils and thinners, both A and B, none of the above. The answer obviously is both A and B. Carbon dioxide as a firefighting agent 
has which advantage over the other agents? It is most effective on per unit basis. It is safe for the persons using it. It causes minimum damage reaction. It is cheaper. Of all these, the best answer is C. It causes minimum damage or the reaction. Main causes of fire on board are unsafe procedures, carelessness, lack of knowledge, lack of training, all the above. Answer is all the above factors do contribute to fires on board. The frequency of serious fires and the incidence of loss of life and ships by fire is higher than by any other cause. Is it a true statement or false? It's a true statement because fire genuinely is a major cause of concern in the industry. Fire is heat and light from rapid combination of oxygen and other materials. True or false? It's a true statement. The flame is not composed of glowing particles and luminous gases. True or false? It's a false statement because flame actually is composed of glowing particles and luminous gases. So please read the questions carefully. For fire to exist, the following are required. Combustible material, enough temperature, enough oxygen, all the above. We have all heard of fire triangle. So all the above are the arms of the fire triangle. So answer is D, all the above. Fire triangle consists of fuel, air and moisture. Air, fuel and heat. Heat, fuel and oxygen. Answer of these. In the absence of heat, fuel and oxygen, even air, fuel and heat could have been opted for. But between air and oxygen, obviously answer C is the best of all. So we have opted for heat, fuel and oxygen in lieu of air, fuel and heat. If burning material com chemically combines with oxygen, it is called as reduction, exothermic, oxidation, Answer is oxidation because when a material chemically combines with oxygen, it's referred to as oxidation. Thank you for watching the Marine Gurukul video series. If you have any feedback or you need further support, please do write to us on marinegurukul at gmail.com. For future updates, we suggest and recommend that you subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching Marine Gurukul video series.